Hi, I'm Stan from Photoballistic Systems, and today we've got a little setup here to photograph a wine bottle and a glass. We're going to have liquid pour into the glass uh, for the photograph. And here's a basic setup. We used uh, some PVC pipe to make a frame, and I took a old wine bottle that I had and I cut the bottom off of it. And if you get a little jagged at the bottom, it's okay. We're not going to see the bottom of the glass in the uh, uh, in the photograph as well. Then I took a funnel, and I used a metal funnel because. I'm going to do this a lot over the next couple years. And on the end of the funnel, I taped a IR transmitter and a sensor board, and I drilled a hole through the end of the funnel so the sensor board and the IR transmitter face each other, and it acts like a little photo gate. And as water pours through the photo gate, the optics, uh, the electronics are triggered, and we can catch different stages of the pour. And here we're going to show you a couple of photographs of that in just a couple of minutes. We have a main flash over here, and this job is to give some light to this side of the glass and some spectral highlight. And I put a diffusion material here, and you could use a piece of white paper, make a little bow, and we'll get a nice white highlight across the glass right here. Also, I like the fact that I can put color and things on the background, and that's why I use a black background. But I put a colored gel on this flash here, and I aim the flash at the background, and I adjust the flash so it works well composition-wise with the glass and the bottle. And then, of course, I have a camera here, and this will be set on bulb, and I'm trying for an f-stop of around 8 or 11, and we'll get nice, sharp photographs. And we're going to do these things at night like we typically do for high-speed photography. So here's basically what this funnel looks like with the sensor and the IR transmitter attached to it. And if you look down the, the uh, end of the uh, funnel, you can see the opposing electronics where they're uh, facing each other. And when the water or wine or whatever you're going to pour through the breaks the beam, it trips the electronics. And then we're going to show you basically as we pour water through the funnel what it looks like coming out the other end. Now, notice we had to move, we hadn't set this glass up uh, for today. What I did here is I put two pieces of black tape for last night when we were doing the shooting. So by taking this test pour, I now know I have to move my glass back a little bit so the pour hits the glass. So we'll go ahead and do another test pour. Okay, so that's good. We've got it in the glass. And then what I would do is I'd move these two pieces of tape closer to the edge of the glass. So when I'm in the dark, I, all I have to do is feel the, gla uh, the tape on the stand and put uh, the glass in that position, and the glass will go back to the same place all the time. Now I'm using a lab jack stand. I used to be a commercial photographer, so I have tons of this kind of equipment to help me out. But you could use old phone books you don't mind getting wet, or bricks, or things like that uh, to raise this up a little bit so the, the, the background glow comes from behind and below the uh, the glass. So this is uh, this is the basic setup. It works very well. Here's a couple pictures. In this first picture we're just starting to see the pour coming out of the bottle. And we make an adjustment on the MD basic and we add a little more delay to it and now we can see a little bit more of the pour coming out of the bottle. And we do that again and we can just work our way up the dial, increasing the amount of time delay uh, that the electronics have until we get the pour and the splashes that we want. And this is the photograph that we ended up with. So I'm Stan Feichel from Photoballistic Systems. And look at our website for more additional information and instruction sheets on how to set these kinds of things up. Thank you.